Hey everyone, it's Ann from What's Up Family Home and today this is a collab and it is a challenge and I have accepted this challenge and I have been challenged by Ingrid at the Ingrid Chronicles to make a fall wreath and if you know me, it's a challenge because I have no idea what I'm doing. I am not a crafter. I tried years ago. I'm just not good at it, so I'm going to try. And I've got all these things that I've got from Dollar Tree. Everything that's here is from Dollar Tree. Even the grapevine wreath. So I'm going to try and make something that looks presentable. And just look, I've got all this fall stuff sitting around just waiting to go up in my house. This is not even counting what's in my back bedroom. So I just grabbed a few things. Some of these, some of these only have one of them. Like this right here is just one. And I think I have three berries there and some leaves. So I'm just going to try and put this together and make it not look awful. And hopefully I'll succeed. But I also don't want to glue it. I want to have these wreaths where I can interchange with like Christmas and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and make it look good and also not put any glue or anything. So wish me luck and let's get started. I will have Ingrid's channel linked below as well as the playlist so you can see all the other videos. And I'm sure they'll have some very beautiful wreaths. And I'm just hoping that this one will turn out good. So I'll turn you around and let's try and make a wreath for fall. I think what I'm going to try to do is just put the leaves in all the way around and then start putting other things in there. So you might see the ends stick out, but I'm going to uh, try and stick them back into the wreath. So I'm going to go ahead and just maybe... Make it so the berries will stick out instead of hiding back there in the leaves. I don't know if I'll use all the leaves, but we'll see what happens. I like the lighter colored ones that they've got this year at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna kinda go dark, light, dark, light, and see how that works. If it doesn't work, I'll take it out and we'll redo it. So I'll go ahead and I'll try to stick them in one way, one, and then try to stick them the opposite way the next. So let's just see how this, and I can always mess with it later. Looks like I'm not gonna have enough to go around. And I don't know if y'all know how it is to take, you take all those tags off. That takes half the night and I just missed one. And they're so hard to take off. So I don't know where my knife is that I was using. So I'll just leave that tucked in there for right now. And so far, they're really not sticking out that far if you work it through there. But you don't want to break the wreath either, so you kind of have a fine line. Okay. I might not go all the way around. That looks pretty good. I do say so myself. So, I'm gonna work this in. That's sticking out a little far. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Kind of like it. So now we can just build 
down here on the bottom. Just kind of start filling in some of the bare spots. And cover up my tag. <laughs> Put one on this side. I've been dreading this for nothing. Let's try something different. Maybe that. Put one there on the other end. work these in so they don't break my wreath. Some of them you can bend them back and they'll just stay like that and that way you won't see it. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to bend those backwards. Once it's hung on the wall you won't be able to see that anyway. There we go. Okay. Stick another pick in the middle. Stick that in the other direction. looks really good. Make sure you can see it. Okay, I've got it on my cookbook stand so you can see it a little bit better because I have to work on my living room table. So I've got one pumpkin there. I was trying to see if that made it look better and I like the pumpkin see where I can put the next one. Maybe right there. Or maybe somewhere else on the... I want to kind of keep them on the same side. Maybe I can turn this one this way. And clip it on there. And that didn't work. Let's see. Okay. It's just touching just enough to keep it up. So let's do this. And reset our third pumpkin here. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this. It doesn't look bad at all. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Okay, I'm going to go over there and take my other wreath down and we'll hang it up and see how it looks on the door. Okay, there's the finished product. I think it looks pretty good for an amateur, especially when I don't have any hot glue or anything holding the leaves and things on there. So I'm really happy with it. I think it really looks good here. And maybe I'll try and make another wreath soon since I don't hate it, but I just wish I could find a lot more of my things. I've just got everything packed everywhere and stuff that I bought just months ago, I can't find, but I really like it, but I really like it, and I'm glad I did this challenge, and thank you, Ingrid, for challenging us, and I will have her channel linked below. She made a beautiful wreath, and I hope you'll go check out her channel, 
and there's a playlist in the description box so click on that and you'll see all the other ladies videos and see their beautiful wreaths as well so i will see you guys in the next video